guys welcome back to my uh, videos on uh, Converge.js tutorials I'll be talking about uh, HSL filters in this video and let's get started so as I was uh, talking about filters in the last two videos you can probably understand by now that they all follow standard formats and they do so the first thing you need to do is that you create a cache or cache or whatever you would like to call it so circle.cache and then after that you invoke or you bring in the set of uh, you bring in the set of uh, filters that are available so as of now I would want to bring in the HSL filters so what I do is that I apply the filters method and I bring in an argument called convert.filters with a capital F and a HSL and make sure that you bring in HSL with the caps of all H, S and L after which you can uh, give another uh, uh, line where you would generally apply your uh, your tweakings and you can uh, you can tweak any of these uh, values. As uh, as I was uh, saying, uh, HSL is another filter and HSL is, can be used to to, uh, to work with three values, which is H, uh, which stands for Q, and S stands for saturation. And you have L that stands for luminance. Alright, guys, so luminance means the amount of brightness that is there. So we were dealing with brightness before, it is somewhat similar. And saturation is something that tells you how much color should be present in your element. And Q is Q decides the, the actual type of color that is present in your element. As of now, you can see that the, uh, the, co the color of the circle has not changed and as soon as I give a hue method nothing changes because I have not filled the brackets we have not passed any arguments so once I give it a value of 10 let's see what happens so we have a change in our color and if I give 100 you can see that there is a further change in color similarly if I give 200 you can see that it is going bluish towards the blue side and if I give about 250 we see that there is more uh, bluish so I guess there has to be some uh, limit over here which is uh, which is around 170 as I suppose all right it is more than 170 anyways you can experiment with the values so that you will know uh, is at what amount your scale ends anyway so this is how you change the hue similarly you can go and go ahead and change the saturation of the element but I think it, it is advisable not to increase its saturation than required because a lot of saturation if you keep looking at it the element that is uh, visible right now it, it starts to hurt your eyes because there is a lot of color involved and your eyes get strained a lot so you can give something in 0.3 or 0.5 or in those values so that you know it doesn't hurt your eyes much and similarly you have the option of giving luminance where you can tweak the brightness of the element how much light it uh, emits out so it is similar to brightness but there is a difference between how these uh, two act so if i give a 0 0.4 you can see that there is a change happening over there and if i give a 0 0.9 you can see that it is starting to lighten up very well so if i give a value of 2 so you can see that there's a lot of sun, uh, the sunlight uh, coming out, so it appears to be a uh, sun. So similarly, you can play around with various values. You can change the luminance uh, to 100. Uh, sorry, uh, you can change the hue to 100 and uh, decrease the luminance to 0.2. Let's see what happens. All right, so the browser needs some time to uh, work around with these values. So depending on your speed and, uh, speed of your connection it changes and right now my uh, my speed is uh, pretty low so as you can see right now we have a change in our color so i have decreased the lumens and since it is hurting my eyes i'll change i'll decrease the saturation as well all right so as you can see uh, the changes have happened and uh, you got to wait for it and that is because of the uh, time it takes to process everything Alright, so let's uh, get started with our uh, explanation of the term. So what happens is that HSL is the 
uh, is, an, is the argument that has uh, all these methods of hue, saturation and luminance and depending on what you would like to uh, have you can invoke any kind of filters that you want, filter package so HSL filter package will come uh, when you invoke this method and pass an argument of convo.filters.hsl and then you have hue method which changes the hue and saturation and luminance as well so anyways uh, uh, never forget to uh, change your variables as per your uh, requirement you can work around with various variables these are not the these are not the standard or the mandatory ones you can have circle 10 or you can call it anything as you like to as long as you change it in the variable space over here and also you have to make sure that you add the same variable to the layer.add method anyways guys so this was uh, our tutorial on uh, HSL package the HSL filters I'll come with many more filters in the coming videos and make sure to watch them all because they are pretty useful and also subscribe to my channel and share and like my videos so that your friends also can see them and learn. Alright guys, that's it for this video. We'll talk about many more filters in the coming videos. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye.